Welcome to Clyburn Kids. I'm Buddy Bray. I'm your host for this episode. This is an episode we're calling Rondo. It's just sort of a fancy word, but it means something pretty simple. It means there's one little tune, and it's going to come back over and over. Now, to start with, I want you to listen to the whole piece of music. It's only about 90 seconds long. Listen to the whole thing, then we're going to talk about it. Here's Gloria Lynn to play it for you. Hope you enjoyed that performance by our friend Gloria Lynn. To me, there are a lot of different tunes going on in that music. That's one of the things that Rondo means. It means that there are a lot of different melodies, a lot of different tunes. I want to concentrate on the tune at the very beginning, which sounds like this. Now that you have that one in your head, I think we should put a label on it so that we can keep track of all these tunes. So we're going to call that A. And every time we hear that, we're going to call it A. Now, here's another little bit of music. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to see if it sounds like the A music you just heard or whether it sounds a little bit different. Here it is. To me, that sounds a little bit different from the A music, so I think we should call that B. Here's what's next in the music. Did it sound like B? Not to me. It sounded more like A, so it was another a. So, so far we've had A, B, and A. I'm going to try to keep track of that for you. Here's more music. This is the fourth section. Here it is. Okay, it didn't sound like A, it didn't sound like B, so I think we're going to have to come up with another letter. Let's just use C, all right? Okay, so far we've had A, B, A, C. Here's the next section. Another A section, I think. So, I'm going to keep track of that for you. A, B, A, C, A. 
five sections so far. We've got two more to go. Here's one of them. That one didn't sound like anything I've heard so far. It didn't sound like A, didn't sound like B, didn't sound like C. Maybe we should call it D, okay? So we've got four different things going on so far. We've had A, B, and then A, C, and then A, D. What do you think we ought to end with? Here's the ending. That one is a little tricky. To me, it sounds the most like A. Let me just refresh your memory on what A sounded like. And then let me refresh your memory on what you just heard at the end. So, that was a lot of different material in only about a minute and a half. That's why Johann Sebastian Bach was one of the greatest composers that ever lived. Our thanks to Gloria Lynn for playing the piano for us today. I'm Buddy Bray for Clyburn Kids. Tons more episodes on our website, clyburn.org kids. We hope to see you soon.